Hello everyone and welcome to DIY D365. My name is Prashant and today we are going to talk about emojis in Power Virtual Agent. We will also touch upon GIFs and images but mostly emojis coming up right after the intro. So everything we are going to talk about in this video is our way, which is the no-code way. First of all, if you're not aware that you can use emojis in PVA, well, you can, and that too in the no-code way. Now, if your question is why am I talking about something which is available out of the box, is because of the reasons I'm going to tell you. Well, there are many silly reasons in my mind, but that doesn't matter, does it? So moving on to the main reason we're talking about this subject is enhancing the user experience, the UX design. By adding emotional intelligence to your PVA or chatbots, it helps you connect with the user better with chatting with your bot. It saves your canvas space as well. So um, I'll let you know what I'm talking about in terms of saving the canvas space is when you create an entity with multiple options, it actually covers the whole space and you have to basically click arrows. So now if you've got up to five emojis in an option set or in an entities option, um, it will not show you arrows because it's, it's just there. So they are my main reasons to talk about this subject. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is creating topics with emoji. So what I've done, I've already created it and it's pretty simple. Uh, it's basically instead of text, you select an emoji. So you go to topics and I'll show you what I've done here. If I go to food options, emoji and text, I created this topic and I've added some emojis there as well as text. You can see it, right? There's a burger. Um, and this is all coming from my iPhone um, or my MacBook, uh, but I've tested it on Chrome Edge and Safari as well, and it works fine. Let's talk about some facts before we proceed. Um, emojis are used by more than 3 billion people, which makes it the most spoken language in the world. And we all know that one picture is worth more than 10,000 words. And hence, we're talking about the subject to improve the user experience because at the end of the day, a user is interacting with your chatbot. So as you can see, all I've done here is went here and then I'll hit the emojis icon and I can just select whatever I want and click add. So that's how I've added this. Now we will see it working later on the demo uh, website channel. Number two, what I did was creating entities with emojis as options. So what I did, create a new custom entity. And if you look here, it's food. So if I click on food, you can see all the items here. Now for some reason, I'm not able to delete the text one, but you can see burgers, sorry, bagels, pretzel, burgers, sandwiches, uh, and pasta. That's what I've added here. For good UX, your bot needs to actually react to different types of messages and not just text. That's why in entities, we have utilized these emojis. Knowing that PVA is still new product in the market and is being continuously updated with features, there might be some emojis which you cannot use and no, I haven't tested all 20,000 emojis available or whatever the number is. Now let's talk about sending response with emojis. Um, so I will actually go back to topics. Um, and in terms of sending response, I will show, it, show you the authoring canvas. So if I click here um, and you can see this is my authoring canvas, all I'm showing are messages. Um, 
And what I've done here is I've provided um, a hyperlink of the map. So if somebody clicks on it, it will take them to Google map. Uh, and where you see this exclamatory, that's actually, so that's, that's actually, okay, something went wrong here. So that's actually a GIF. So what I've done in terms of um, sending response, this actually shows you a Jiffy, which is, uh, which says yummy and it's moving. So that makes a user experience better. That makes a chat more casual and make the user feel much more lighter than, than just sending text and receiving text with a bot. So how you do um, the exclamatory, um, the Jiffy thing or the image thing, I'll just show it to you. Um, so for example, let's say I want to show it after so, and I'll click on this link. And in this link, I will do this exclamatory square brackets and here I'll type all text and then create my enter my brackets and within these brackets I'll provide a URL of my image and that must be a public URL and you can find jiffies on jiffy.com and uh, images on google.com or bing.com but make sure you're licensed to use it or you can create it within your organization and put it under a public folder which is accessible publicly, right? So that's how you do it. So public URL here, I'll provide this formula on my blog as well, so you can copy it from there, right? So that's all I've done in terms of providing responses. Now, you can see it here. These are my messages and this is a response and what you see here are uh, emojis available here. So I've also changed the greetings so you can see greeting here. I've also changed that. Now, let's see how it works. So towards the end of this video, this is about sending response with emojis or GIFs um, associated to a response. So we'll go to the demo channel and I'll type here, hi. And once I do that, you can see that there is this hi emoji i'm a virtual agent a robot uh if you would like to speak to a human so a human emoji is present there right and then it asks you about do you want to proceed with the verification now i will select no in this case i can also select yes um i'll say no now when i say no um i will again get a response transferring you to the human and this is basically defining the personality of your brand, how you want it to be perceived by your users, right? So that's why I've done it this way. Um, okay, so that's topic one. Now let's refresh this so that it's re, uh, reset. And what we are going to do here now is, let's say, I'll just type food options, okay? So let's type food options and see what we get. And I get these five options. This is what I've configured within my entity called food, op food, actually not food options. So that's where I've configured it. Now let's see if I select burger pasta, that's where I've put in condition. I've not done it for all, but you can, it's up to you. So I'll click on pasta and you see it shows me this, um, the and you can configure it basically the nearest a pasta house or whatever. I have done this one. If I click on this, it takes me to Google um, Maps, right? And otherwise it shows me this GIF, which makes, I think it will make the user experience a lot better. Now, again, refreshing it. I'll just say start over. Okay. No. Okay, let me type here, um, burger. So if I type burger, you see, seems like you're hungry. That's a response with an emoji. And then you get the location of a burger place with a GIF and which makes it better. Now I've also configured, um, I've also configured, um, let me just go back. Where did I do it? 
um, check the topic, food options, and check its canvas. Yep, so it's basically this. I will just publish it once more. Okay, and then copy my website, the demo website here, and try to do it again. So, now this time, instead of typing burger, I will actually paste the emoji here. When I do that, you see this, and I've received it. There is definitely some reason I'm not going to, I'm not getting the next message which was so I'm typing this and it shows me this and then it needs to ask me another question which it's not okay let me check it here Okay, so here it's asking, so there must be definitely something wrong with my publishing or this thing. But what you can see here is after it has provided me the location as well as a GIF, and I can say yes or no, I'll say yes here. And you see, I'm glad I could help. There's a smiley face. That's basically enhancing the user experience by adding emotional intelligence there enjoy your meal so somebody is trying to connect to you although that's a virtual agent but it's trying to connect to you as a human i hope you like this video and it might help your user experience and you've learned something new today and if you did like the video do turn the black thumb blue by liking it comment uh, if you've got any suggestions uh, for a new video and if you come here often and not subscribe to my channel, please do. Thank you and have a great day.